What is going on guys, Nathan here with another Smite gameplay commentary, here talking about the recently introduced into the game God of the Earth Jeb, which High Rise released about a week ago, um, so this video is a little bit late, but uh, I do have Jeb mastered, and I would like to kind of give my first impressions on him, you know, uh, things that stood out to me about him overall. Now, Jeb is a very good support, at least at the moment, uh, and this tends to happen when gods are initially released into the game, actually in any MOBA, L League of Legends especially, where um, you initially release a god into the game, have him be a little bit unbalanced, a little bit on the powerful side, so that people will buy him and spend, you know, in-game currency and basically make money for the company that released the, the god or champion or what have you. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Jeb, I wouldn't say is overpowered at the moment, you know, like some champions might be when they're first released, but he is definitely very good. Now let's start out with Jeb's passive, and I believe his passive is that he only takes an additional 25% damage uh, against the crit versus an extra 100%. Now this basically means that he is kind of immune to crits, uh, which is good when you're laning against an ADC or a hunter or jungle or something who might have Deathbringer for that extra physical power. So it's pretty decent, not the best passive, but definitely useful to basically negate crits. Now, uh, moving on here, his first ability, which is his rock and rollout, is very powerful. Not only for the damage that it does, which is pretty decent, but also you get a ton of mobility out of it. Uh, it is just crazy. Like, you, you actually move faster for a very long amount of time, giving Jeb just amazing mobility. You could even probably jungle with Geb if you were given the right uh, set of items because he just has that mobility and that pretty decent damage, you know, not obviously jungler damage, that'd be pretty ridiculous, but um, it is very powerful and uh, at, at the end of the rolling of the ball, if you will, um, he's actually CC immune, which means that if you can time it right, you know, you really need to have a good skill set with Jeb to do this, but you can actually cancel out, you know, maybe something like a Hades alt or something along those lines, if you time the roll right and uh, you have that, like, extra two seconds or whatever it is of CC immunity. So his first ability is very good, especially if you want to take enemies by surprise, you know, come around a corner from the jungle with a full Rev ball, you can set up a combo that way, um, and it's a very good initiate. Plus, you've got a little bit of extra wave clear because you can just roll right on through the minions, um, so that really helps Jeb out. Now we move on to Jeb's second ability, which is a cone type of AoE damage attack, and uh, it is pretty good, I don't know, it's just kind of average. It's kind of good to combo up with your uh, number one ability, because you basically, if, if you're in lane, for example, at a lower level or something like that, you can roll through the minions, hit the god, use your two, and it's just kind of good for some poke there, and maybe use your third ability, which we'll get to in a little bit, to uh, shield yourself on the way out, but um, it's pretty decent. It does knock enemies up for about a second if they're right next to the ability because it does damage based on how far enemies are away from it um, and it also pops them up for a second so if you need to like save a teammate or something that you know an enemy is going to use an ability then you, then you can use this as they're running away run into them use the ability and then the enemy god is popped up and they may not get that kill that they would have but um, overall it is pretty damn it, it's it's pretty average I was gonna say it's pretty damage um, it does okay damage and uh, it's just kind of good to combo up. And now we move on to Jeb's third ability, which is probably his most overpowered ability. And I'm guessing if he would be nerfed, this is what would be nerfed first, because Jeb's third ability is a shield that provides a buff for something around three to five seconds. I'm not entirely sure on the actual numbers on that, but it's for just a little bit, you know, enough for a teammate to get away. But once this shield is leveled up, it is an insane buff. I'm talking, uh, I like squishier characters or ADCs or hunters. Uh, for example, let's say like Zeus, Neath, or uh, Cupid. Even when they're low on health and you use the shield on them, it will actually heal them, or rather, give them a buff for about two thirds of their health. And that is crazy. Like you're talking two thirds of somebody's health. Like they could be at kind of like a weak health um, where they're taking damage or whatever, you put the shield on them and they're basically at full health again for five seconds. 
That is crazy. Like, this is an insanely good ability. Plus, the shield removes crowd control, which, let's say, you know, somebody's being trapped by a Hades alt. Let's use that example again. You can use the shield on them, and they can walk right out with that extra health. They're pretty much good. Using this ability on a teammate when it's timed very well, it means that you could almost completely counter somebody's alt. I've actually done it a couple times where I would use a shield on a teammate that's about to be attacked by Fenrir, and he turns out and he uses his alt, and it doesn't do anything, um, because Fenrir's alt is CC, but that's uh, beside the point. But this ability is crazy good, and um, if you want to be a support bruiser or tank, you know, however you want to put it, then this ability is very good to level up. It's just, oh man, it is just really good. I cannot stop saying that. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll move on to his alt here. All right, so Jeb's ultimate is pretty good, and the reason for this is that it does very, very decent damage uh, with a stun at the end, or a stun during, depending on how you want to look at that grammatically. But, um, yeah, it's that, that's really all you can ask for in an alt is that, you know, it does pretty decent damage with a decent stun, uh, so that, you know, some teammates might be able to finish off whoever you're targeting. Um, so, yeah, it's just a very good ultimate, and that's all you can ask for. So, overall, as he has been introduced into the game for about a week, Jeb is a very good tank or bruiser. Depending on how you want to build him, uh, he can support, he can go solo, uh, he can, you know, do a couple of things, and he's just a very good god at the moment. He might be nerfed in the future, we'll see about that, especially with that shield, it is just ridiculous, but um, overall, yeah, he's just very good, very fun to play. His first ability is fun to just roll around and have a really high speed especially with orange buff, um, but that is, you know, beside the point. But either way, um, uh, like, I'm not in com into competitive, so I wouldn't put him into, like, a tier, like, oh, he's tier one god, you know, he's top of the pack. But uh, what I can say is that from pubs, just basic pubs, because that's all I do in Smite, he is very good and very fun to play, and that's pretty much it. So, um, I guess that's where I'll wrap up this video, guys. Thank you all for watching, as always. If you could leave a rating on the video, that'd be amazing. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy my content, and I will see you guys later.